So, the self-anointed lord of all human bodies, Anthony Fauci, recently spoke to the vaccine-hesitant Canadians at a university event. Let's listen together. Indeed, you do have personal liberties for yourself, and you should be in control of that. But you are a member of society. And as a member of society, reaping all the benefits of being a member of society, you have a responsibility to society. And I think each of us, particularly in the context of a pandemic that's killing millions of people, you have got to look at it and say there comes a time when you do have to give up what you consider your individual right of making your own decision for the greater good of society. Poor little Fouch. He doesn't understand the group of people he's speaking to. You see, Fouch, we're aware of the psychological warfare that was used to launch this entire pandemic, much of it refined during Event 201. We remember the fake videos out of China with the massive trucks spraying entire neighborhoods, people in hazmat suits, bodies in the streets. Hmm, haven't seen that yet. We remember the news suddenly switching from reporting deaths to obsessing over cases because the death rate had become so low it was no longer a viable form of manipulation. And what's more, we know that the news on TV every night is primarily funded by the pharmaceutical industry that you're demanding we give up our personal choice to. We know those same pharmaceutical industries have billions of dollars in payouts from lawsuits for literally destroying human lives. We know that a healthier population makes a poor pharmaceutical industry. We are clear about the fact that we are being engineered into a scenario in which our continued sickness can be perpetually transformed into the wealth of the elite. Oh, and about the whole greater good serve society thing, yeah, we also remember history. You see, there was a leader of this thing called the National Socialist Program in Germany. His name was Adolf. And many of us remember one of the primary slogans used in their propaganda. Forgive my German, but it went something like, Geimenutz geht vor eigenutz. It translates into the common good before the individual good. So we hear you loud and clear on that one, Fouch. But most importantly, little Fauci, we know how to use your tyranny as the birth pangs for a freedom movement that is going to transform human wellness beyond recognition. You see, millions of us long before COVID woke up to the harms of using government, media, and big pharma as guides on how to live, what to eat, and what medical interventions we need. And now we're being joined by thousands and thousands of doctors and nurses who stand with us and see the very medical corruption that millions of us identified years ago. So I'm here to tell you that it was too late before you started this whole charade. Because those of us that are holding the line and standing for medical freedom, many, many of us are standing in the firm, undeniable, empirical evidence given to us by our own bodies. Because do you know what happened when we stopped depending on the corrupt government, media, and pharmaceutical influences you're using to usher us into your great reset? We got healthier, stronger, clearer, and more free. And we are never going back. So thanks for the tyranny. We'll use it well, and the more you push and push, the more we'll transform it into the birth of an awakening that cannot be stopped. So thanks for chiming in to the old vaccine debate here in Canada, okay? But no thanks, Fouch. Bye!